They hate it when I do this. But I've been in that painting for more than 150 years. Who could blame me for wanting to have a little fun? Come on. Know what I love about museums? They're full of stories and mysteries. Plus, I get to see people in places I'd never get to see back at home. Come on. What a boxing match this must have been. I like all the diagonal lines and the colors. The diagonals make my eyes move around the painting like the boxers dancing around the ring. Everything is black and white and gray, except for the ropes. They look golden. The angle is cool too. It's like I'm sitting ringside in the front row. Can you imagine? This was a championship fight between Jersey Joe Walcott and the undefeated Joe Lewis. That's Jersey Joe. The referee is trying to hold him up, but boy, he looks heavy. I wonder why the artist painted that moment and what happens next. Well, just like in a story, we can make an inference. What do you think's gonna happen based on what you see? And is it the beginning, middle, or end of the fight? Well, Jersey Joe lost that fight, but he never gave up. He went on to win the championship two more times. Cool story. Ha, fooled ya. I wonder what it would be like to be one of these kids. Anyway, this is a school. Does your classroom look like this? There are so many stories in this painting. There are big kids and smaller ones. Plus, they are dressed kind of funny. Looks cold too. They don't have electricity or computers. That's a bowl of hot coals to keep them warm. This must have been a long time ago. They've been in this painting longer than I've been in mine. Hmm, what's the mood in this room? You see, just like an author uses words to describe a setting, an artist uses expressions and color to set the mood. The dude in the big black hat must be the teacher. The kid talking to him looks none too happy about it. Sorry, teach, dog ate my homework. Speaking of food, where would they eat their lunch? This is a one-room school. Can you imagine spending all day in one classroom? Even art takes place in here. This painting is more than 350 years old. It's like a history lesson on how school used to be in a place called the Netherlands. Art can capture moments, and each work of art can be read just like a story. Come on, let's go. Art does more than tell stories. It can take you to magical places that you've never imagined. This painting makes me think of all the places I want to go. The painter made one trip to Algeria on the northern tip of Africa, but he painted a scene that will last forever. Can you guess the setting? or the time period. The boy is trying to sell him the rug, I think. I wonder if it's a school day. Do you dream of traveling to foreign places? Why not just draw them until you get a chance to go? This art makes me happy just looking at it. It kind of makes me want to dance. Actually, a family member of the artist died in an accident, and she wanted to make art that was happy. Her idea of heaven. And you know what? She found all this stuff to make this art. She started with an old door. A door. See if you can find the doorknob. Then she put gold chains and buttons and other cool stuff all over it. Every time I look at it, I see something different. Neat, huh? Art can be made out of just about anything. Hey, check this out. This looks like a vase that you'd put flowers in, but it's not. It's actually a Greek jar that was used to hold wine or oil. The way they're dressed and what they're holding are clues to who they were and where they were from. This may have been used as a trophy of some sort. 
A vase this shape is called an amphora. This jar is at least 1,500 years old. Now, how am I going to get out of here? Uh, hello? Anyone? <sighs> so, I've got to get going before the guard catches me. Plus, check it out. The circus is coming to town, and I've never been to a circus. I've never seen an elephant or a giraffe. Way back when I was painted, we didn't see those kinds of things in the Midwest. That's where I'm from. Bet you can't guess what I use the hammer and nails for. I'll give you a hint. It's something that I don't have on my feet. Did you guess? It's shoes. Yeah, believe it or not, we used to use a hammer and nails to fix shoes. Every painting has a little bit of mystery. So, you have to ask questions and make inferences. Oh, that must be the guard. Anyway, I'm afraid my goat will break my mirror, and that would be bad luck. Is this foreshadowing? I hope not. Anyway, when you see art or create art yourself, you're telling a story. It's called the art of storytelling. Oh, it's been fun, but I gotta go. So what's your story? It can come from anywhere, from a real historic event, from places you know, like your school, even places you've gone, or maybe dream of going. Your story could be one of joy and happiness, and made from just about anything laying around. It can be on pottery, or even about a boy in his dreams, like me. It's the circus, I'm so there. So, what's your story? <laughs> 